Okay, so let's start. I have my ULA circuit. This is a really great pack. I feel like it's super sturdy. I'm able to fit two water bottles on each side and they're angled. Um, it has a really nice front pouch here, kangaroo pouch, where I put my uh, camp shoes, my rain jacket, and my bathroom stuff. It has a roll top. Excuse my dog, he makes weird sounds. Um, it has a roll top. And on the back here, um, I can hook a small little smart water bottle here full of electrolytes or something. Um, hip belt pockets, super spacious, super roomy. Love it. And I also have my little tube. The hose goes right into my smart water bottle and I can just drink as I go. So I have that pack. It's fantastic. I have some safety pins on the outside so that I can hang some socks and let them air dry. Okay, inside my pack, I have the Nylaflume liner. I got this from lightsmith.com. It's kind of crinkly, kind of noisy, but it'll do the job for keeping everything inside of it dry. Um, I have the Feathered Friends Flicker 20 degree quilt. It's really warm. I love it. I actually tested out some gear in North Carolina for three nights last weekend and I learned that a 10 degree even in 20 degree weather for me a 10 degree quilt was way too hot so I stuff it in the z-packs medium stuff sack and I have a liner it's a silk sea to summit travel liner if I need it um, I'll use it and then in the summer you know summer months I can just you know, lay on top of my quilt and put this on top of me. For a ground sheet, I have the Gossamer Gear Large Polypro. And I also, Gossamer Gear sold out of their 1 8 inch thick pad. So I have this one that I got from Mountain Laurel Designs. It's super lightweight. And I'm gonna put this down on first Polypro, then this on the ground, and then my sleeping pad which is the Thermarest X-Therm. It's got a 6.9 R value. And then I'll put the Feathered Friends quilt on top of that. That's for cowboy camping. Um, inside my tent, obviously I won't have a polycro, but I'll do the, the Mountain Laurel 1A. And then I'll do my Thermarest and then my quilt. Okay, for my tent, I have the Z-Pax Duplex tent, was able to test it out for three nights. The first night we were in tornado warning winds and it held up pretty great. I had to put rocks down over the stakes, but it held up all night long. Um, the second night it was about 29 degrees and we had a lot of condensation with rain. So what I learned the third night is to keep, it has two vestibules, and it, to keep one of the flaps open at night helps a lot with condensation. As for the stakes, I have some Z-Pax ultralight stakes that go with the tent, but I also have some MSR groundhogs um, for a couple places that I want it to be more sturdy and tied down. I have a Zen BB pillow. Um, that's my luxury item. Actually, I actually have quite a few luxury items. Um, I was able to get my base weight down to about 14 pounds and I was able to afford some luxuries. So my pack with food weighs uh, 27.5 pounds and that's with food and water. So I have the cooler cloth, I have my deuce of spirits trowel, um, my hiking poles or the women's um, distance FLZ from Black Diamond. For my cook system, I'm gonna cold soak as much as I can, but if I feel like having a fire, I have the BRS 3000 tea stove. I have the Vargo Titanium Bot, which I made a little bee uh, koozie around it. Um, and this I can cold soak in, and I can also um, 
you know, heat heat stuff up. And this uh, light load towel from z -Pack, so I can just clean that out. A mini lighter, my c -Knock or Knock, however you pronounce it, and my z -Pack's food bag, and my store squeeze. As for electronics, I have my Garmin Mini, I have my Nightcore rechargeable headlamp, I have a wall charger, um, this is to charge both of these devices, and also I have some on headphones that I got from Walmart that are Bluetooth over the ear speaker. And my Anchor 20,000 MAH PD. This is my pack cover for when it rains from Z Packs. Okay, so let's start with the clothing. I have an 850 down jacket from LL Bean. It's super lightweight. I think it weighs eight ounces. I'm really digging it. I've got some icebreakers, uh, base layers to sleep in with some darn tough socks. And on the super chilly nights, I have the Z-Pax down booties. For a wind jacket, I have the Cotopaxi windbreaker, and that's for the desert. Um, I also have a Enlightened Equipment Visp rain jacket with the Z-Pax rain pants, the Virtus rain pants. I have some possum down gloves that I'll wear in the desert section, and then when I get to Kennedy Meadows, I'll switch them out for some outdoor research Versa liners. I have a beanie from Burton, an NRS long sleeve sun shirt, a tank top, it's where I work, it's where I live, my hat, Yo Colorado hat. I have a Terra Kaya, Kaya Terra um, sports bra, Everbrand leggings that have a pocket. I have an amazing dress by uh, Purple Rain Skirts. I really think you should check them out. It's a hiking dress. I originally got it for a town dress, but I might hike in it because it's super comfortable and the material is amazing. This is my fleece from Vado. Vado. V-A-D-O. Look him up on Instagram. He makes some really high quality alpha fleece. I think this thing weighs like 4.6 ounces or something and it's super warm. I've got some Patagonia baggies, a Patagonia barely there, a sports bra, some Injinji toe liners with some darn tough socks and an extra pair, a couple buffs for the head, some dirty girl gaiters. I have the Ultra 4.5 Lone Peaks these are the fives. I'm gonna try them out. They look like a quality shoe, so we'll see. I've got the Zero Sandals for my camp shoes. I got Sea to Summit head net. And then I just thought I'd throw this in here. These are for shin splints and um, the compression calf sleeves. I have a Mueller knee brace and some horse tape in case I roll my ankle. And then all of this clothing goes inside of this Z-Pax bag. Um, yeah, that's everything. Okay, and for my toiletries and first aid, I have some wipes that I pretty much plan on using every day, and especially I want to try to wipe down at night before I put my sleep clothes on. I have a brush with mirror. Got it at the dollar store. I have a bamboo toothbrush that my husband cut down and toothpaste. Some hair ties. I have a hundred days worth of floss here. I have some q-tips cut in half. I have a mask. I have some coal tips to use for the road walks for the fire closures uh, and an extra bottle cap. I have some climb on, which is lotion, and you can use it for chafing, all that good stuff. A little bit of Tiger Balm. I have some stamps and addresses in here. I have an extra nose ring, just in case mine falls out. I have some lavender in this little Lightsmith bottle. Um, it's really good for blisters, for drying them out, and also for headaches and stuff like that. 
Um, I know this is a huge thing of Arnica, but Arnica gel is really good for muscle pain and stiffness and any kind of swelling or bruising. Um, it's homeopathic and it's really worked for me on other long hikes. So I'm taking a whole bunch of that and it's the gel. I find the gel works better than the roll on. I have some sunscreen, hand sanitizer. This is my pharmaceutical arsenal. And in my Johnson & Johnson little carry case, I have patch aid for my uh, Thermarest and some extra O-rings for my Sawyer Squeeze. I have some triple antibiotic ointment as well as some hydrocortisone cream. I have some cleansing um, alcohol prep and antiseptic towelettes. I have my little Z-Packs knife and scissors and nail file. I have some band-aids, some gauze, and some Lupo tape strips. Alright. And oh and here I have some nail clippers, a safety pin, tweezers, and a needle. Just in case I have to sew anything. Okay, so that pretty much wraps everything up, and it was super quick. I hope it was painless, and uh, I'll see you on trail.